gentlemen, welcome, welcome to the British Academy Video Games Awards. So, for those people who don't know who, who you are and what you do, can you just uh, introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Harvey Elliott, Chair of the BAFTA Games Committee. Cool, so just can you give us a, a brief overview of uh, the, the game segment of BAFTA and how, you know, how it differs or how it, impressive it is for BAFTA to have games out there? Well, BAFTA celebrates art forms of the moving image, and that would be film and TV and games. And I think that's the special bit. It's a, it's a cross-sector academy with people from all those industries, but they all have a common purpose. They're building great creative content across those platforms. And for us to have that membership looking at the games, looking at film and looking at TV, it gives us a really nice buzz and a really good mix of skills and capability. And how does the process go for this evening? So obviously we've had our, our finalists tonight, but can you rewind time and tell us how it all, all begins? Well, it starts pretty much straight after the last awards. We open up for entries and say, if you've made a game in 2013, submit it to us. The BAFTA membership go through that entire games list and play as many as they possibly can and vote for them into categories that they think, yes, they'd be great in this category and a great, great title. We take that, we turn into juries. So each of the chairs, sorry, each of the uh, games committee at BAFTA chair a jury, and we pull together as many great people as we can from the industry that are reflective of a specific discipline or genre. And between them, they decide the nominees and the winner, with the exception of best game, which we put back to the BAFTA membership and say, here are our six nominees, which one do you think is best? And they have to play them all, give us their best views, and then put in their vote. So one thing that, uh, especially about video games over the past few years, is the sort of indie scene. You know, the, the kids in their bedroom making their games. We've seen um, Lucas Pope tonight come away with a, a BAFTA for yes. Papers, Please, which everyone is incredibly happy yes. about. And that's something, you know, like the indie film scene. Do you know what I mean? And this is a new thing for games. So how has it been kind of involving them in with the AAA titles? Last year, we obviously saw um, Journey pick yes. up so many yeah, masks yeah, and, yeah. and the same again this year. Well, for me, actually, it's always been part of the industry, but we haven't perhaps recently had a platform to celebrate them on. I mean, the reality is we could go make games right now on mobile phone, on Steam, on the PS4 and Xbox One through the indie setup. I mean, that's a phenomenal market. There's an opportunity for people to bring games to life. For them to compete on that other stage is a different thing, though. I mean, yeah, they are individuals, one, two, three, four people working together against a behemoth team. For them to be nominated against them just shows the creativity and the expertise they put into crafting their game. And the BAFTA membership, I think, see that. They see what individuals can do to create a great game experience. And every single one of the titles that have been nominated tonight is put there because the juries have thought, that's amazing, that's engaging, and it's caught us in. Now, it's an interesting industry because, as, as we like to sort of show that about, you know, the, there's more money uh, making out games than you see in the, the, the film industry. You know, GTA being the, the biggest entertainment launch of all time, like yes. bigger than ice cream, I assume. But um, <laughs> how, how does that sort of shape the, the future, do you think? Obviously, we have the BAFTA Game Awards, which is lovely, and we're here tonight. But then also the, you know, the sort of extravagance of the film industry and stuff like that do you see games kind of growing over the next few years into it to becoming that behemoth or what I, d yeah, I wouldn't call it a behemoth but I would I would say it's growing of course it's growing I mean the industry is growing year on year and you're exactly right Grand Theft Auto has become a phenomenal global hit and is the entertainment achievement of, of the last decade I mean it is a phenomenal thing and I'm really proud that games have done that what I like about it is that games are the stars, the games and the people that play them are the important people, and that we don't have the celebrity front to everything we do. So the games really do stand for themselves and, and deserve to stand for themselves. How the industry is going to grow, I don't know. We're going to get new channels and new markets and new platforms. And the main thing for me is that we always make great games. We've got to make an experience that captures the heart of people, captures their time. And time is a scarce commodity right now. So to be able to invest that into something like a game and get an experience of reward from it, that's what we need to be driving towards and, and I think we're very capable of. I'm going to pick you up on the word celebrity there. That seems quite quite an uh, important word when it comes to kind of like uh, branding and you know sort of promotion of stuff and obviously video games don't really have you, I mean if I questioned you now who you know who was the lead uh, producer on FIFA 14 that that's a question no David one Rutter and Nick Channon. Wow there, okay, but, wow there we go, there go. okay done my questions ruined sorry but let, <laughs> let's say I didn't know David Rutter and Nick Channon as the production team on FIFA yeah yes what would you like to know no but the celebrity the important thing for me is we do have glitz and glamour and we have people you know who are phenomenally good at their craft they maybe aren't A-list celebs that you would know but there are names we know in the industry that sit behind games and you recognize as great talent 
And you know, a lot of award ceremonies, even the BAFTA Film and TV Awards, have celebrities there saying, look what we've done. Well, for us, the celebrities that come here are people that go, look at what Games is doing, and look at what Games is achieving, and they give us a validation that says, you know, they, they play them too. They spend their time looking at these games and playing these games, and I love the fact they're here for that. And we even get to see um, people who work in films come over and kind of make the jump to games. I mean, uh, Joseph Favs, who, does, who uh, made Brothers, who won a BAFTA this evening, you know, he, he spoke to me and said that, you know, he never won a BAFTA for film. And now he's got one for, you know, he's had one shot at making a game and he's picked up a BAFTA. So yes. happiest man in the room. Yeah, and deservedly so. Yeah. What a beautiful game and, and phenomenally well done. And we are seeing a lot of people moving industry and moving you know, discipline between games and TV and film. And that's what BAFTA celebrates. I mean, we have a learning and events program year round, which shows great things happening in each of the industries. And we see a lot of people who turn their hand to different areas and different skills. And, you know, we saw earlier tonight, Steve Moffat giving the award out for you know, the, basically the writing award. You know, for have him saying, I revere this award and I can under can't understand how it how you do this, it's a phenomenal thing and that's what we're here for. Finally then, um, the awards has changed this year, obviously we had the public in which is lovely, especially for gamers that's a really really nice touch. Um, where do you see uh, the awards going in the next few years? Well, I love the fact we've engaged so many gamers. I'd love to do it much more next year. You know, the day event really caught, captured people and got them hooked into things and built this energy that's carried us right through to the evening. I'd love to be able to step on that and grow that and you know, get more gamers involved and more people involved. Obviously, we've got to keep finding bigger venues, but that's fine by me. Cool. Pleasure to speak to you. Likewise, thank you. And have a great evening. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you.